Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jax on the channel of the Jackster. Uh, we're going to do uh, something a little different today. We're going to—I'm going to show you how to set up a Java server. You, this can be used to, for the new Snapshot 1.16, or uh, I think it's 20 WSA16 or something like that. But anyway, uh, we can use it for that, or we can—you can use it for any server that you want, um, Java version anyway. So what you want to do is search. And these are the keywords I'm using, latest Java Minecraft version. We go down to Minecraft Java Edition, and I'll leave this link in the description here, this uh, web, red web link. And then uh, if you don't have the launcher, this is the place where you launch it. So if you just bought Minecraft, uh, you would need to download the launcher and, and get that set up. But I think most of you probably already have done that. So we're just going to scroll down the page. Um, and then we have the Java Server Edition software here. And this is the BDS uh, that's still an alpha bedrock dedicated server. It does work. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing how that's set up, let me know. And I'll do that. Just leave a comment. Um, and then comment like BDS or bedrock server. Uh, and then I need to know which version you want it set up on Windows or Linux. Tell me which one you want it set up on. Uh, so leave that in the comments. But anyway, for today's tutorial video, we're going to go on down and get to Java server. And go ahead and read this. It's uh, good stuff. Um, we're going to uh, not use this one. I have one I use automatically, and I'll leave that. Uh, what you need to put in into the uh, file in the description also. So if we click on this, this downloads the server. You would click on save to get it. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, so go ahead, like I said, read this. Uh, it's good information, but really for the uh, setting up a basic server, I'll, I'll be able to cover everything in this video. So let's minimize this. Let's close this up. And uh, that was just my recorded files. And then I have this set up already for a server. And we're going to delete most of this stuff in here. So I've already set the server up. And I'm redoing <laughs> the video because something didn't record right. So, so let's delete that and delete the logs. Okay, so you would get this server, that's what would download. Even though it said 1.15, uh, it actually serves, downloads as just server.jar. And I have another folder over here where I've copied that. So let's click on copy, I'll show you what I did before. And I pasted it over here and then I renamed it this. So that I can, if I play in different versions or one snapshot, I can have those all in one one place and not worry about it. So let's delete that. We're gonna go back uh, to the the main folder here, and uh, we're gonna need to create a a bat file, or do they call them batch files too? So what we do is go down to new, go to text document, and we're gonna call this launch MC for Minecraft and server, and then we need to change dot text to BAT. If that doesn't show up and it tells you here this might become unusable, blah blah blah. Uh, click on yes. But if the, if you can't see the extension, you need to change your view. And so uh, we go here inside File Explorer, go to View, go over to Options, change folder op uh, search options, go to View, and we need to go down and the one that says hide uh, extensions for known types, file types, uncheck that. It's more than likely 100% it will be, if you, if you don't see that, that's what's causing it. So just uncheck it. And so, because we need to be able to see the file extensions. Click apply. That way you can rename it and know where things right. Um, so from there, we're gonna put those parameters that they were talking about here. But we're gonna make those a little bit different. Um, Let's see, we can go ahead and copy this, I believe. If it doesn't work, I have set up for another one. So we'll just click on edit. We're gonna paste this into here. Let's make it wider so we can see. You do need a second command in this batch file and it's called pause. Otherwise it will run and then close on you in the server you won't be able to get to. Um, so let's change and I'll put the information you need to 
in the uh, description for this kind of stuff. So you can see if it changed it to uh, server.jar. So let's change that so that name's correct. And the no GUI parameter is so it doesn't pop up um, an interface for you to manage the server, which is not needed. And let's move these around. X. If you didn't know how to copy and paste these, you just you could just move over, type it in, and then delete the other one. And we're going to go to gigabytes instead of megabytes because you know we're in the digital age where everything needs more. And we're going to say use up to three gigabytes. Okay, to explain to you what this is saying is we've got a batch file that runs, it tells the computer what to do. So it starts up Java, and then it's saying to use minimum of one gigabyte to maximum of three gigabyte, and then start the jar file. So this is telling it, this dot dash jar says to load server.jar. If you named it something else, you would just change it to whatever that name is. And no GUI, like I said, that it prompts you, it, it just doesn't pop another window up, uh, makes it simple. And then if you wanted to see what it does, you could just delete that and then it would pop up the other GUI. And then we're pausing so that the server can run. Okay. So we're going to click on close, click on save. If you wasn't sure you saved it right, you just click on edit. Don't click on open yet. So there we go. So you can double click or, or right click and open it up. And it's going to run. Okay, we get this window. It popped up on my other screen. Uh, it says we got a fatal exception error. So, okay, I did set something. One of those commands is not right. So let me open up. My other test snapshot, other file. And let's look at the uh, launch the server on that. So let's click, right click edit. And minus XMS. Let's copy those over and see what the difference is. As you can see here, I was running a, a snapshot earlier. Click on copy. Close this back up. Don't need this anymore. Let's edit our one that we created. And I'm going to go down here and paste to see what I what I typed in wrong. XMS oh, 3G 4G. Yeah, I don't. Oh, okay. I put GB. That's probably what the problem was. Okay, so let's delete that. That was on uh, the new server. I thought it might, or the snapshot, so I used more memory. As you can see, I, I said start with three and go to four. So let's delete that. Again, let's click on save, or close, and then save, and double click to launch it again. Okay, it's uh, launching here. It says I need to agree to the EULA. That's happens every time uh, when you first start a new server unless you already have that file there. So we're going to click space to close that up. We're going to go to our EULA, double click on it. It tells you where to go read the EULA. The main thing you need to do for the server to work is type in, re remove the false and type in true. Okay, so all you got to do right there. So click close, click save. And now this time when we run it, it's going to go ahead and start and create the world and everything. Uh, if you want to know information, more information about the server properties or whitelisting and all that stuff, let me know and I, I can do a video, but this video is not going to go over that. So double click on launch. Again, this popped up over on my other window. It's going to go through and create all the world just like it normally would do. And while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start the launcher up for Java. Okay, and so it, it finished creating this spawn area. That's what we needed to know. Uh, this is your interface where you can type in uh, commands, right? So we'll go back over to the launcher. We're going to click on play. Um, you do have to make sure you're selecting the right version too. Uh, I had it set up to do 1.15.2, which is the same as the server. It has to be the same. Your client connecting to the... Uh, there are ways to get around that if... Um, you have a server running, but it's going to be a modded server. So vanilla servers, you, your server and a client has to be exactly the same. So now that we have Minecraft started up, let's click on multiplayer. I already created a new server, but we'll uh, change that so you know how to do it too. So we'll click on add. The name can be anything you want. 
and local test who is what I'm going to call this one server address uh, if you're sharing with somebody outside you'll need to know put your IP address right in there uh, I'm not going to do that for multiple reasons but uh, so you just type in local host so like if you have four couple two people at home and you want to do it you can open to LAN inside and do this but this way has a dedicated server running that way if one person wants to play and the other doesn't uh, you have the server running so we just type in localhost and what that does it looks for uh, on your local PC if there's a port open to the game okay uh, if you want to see more information about getting um, port forwarding to, sh to share outside uh, of your house then uh, leave a comment and I can, I'll look at trying to do that too so we'll click on done it always puts it at the bottom so you can use these arrows to move it up and as you can see it's uh, it's got it's ready if it's green it's got this X that means it's offline so no connection but we're here we're good so you would just click on play or double click on it in the server we'll see that the player connected okay so we're in here um, this is the vanilla world it created all good uh, we can go over back to the console we can type in op jackster or whatever your char character's name is and you, you get the, the prompt over here it tells the message that jackster is a server operator okay uh, so that's kind of how it works uh, and then you can see here I can I got uh, OP privileges I can go into creative which you normally couldn't do that if you wanted to deop somebody you just type on deop Dexter or that person's name okay I'm no longer a server operator but I am in creative mode so um, let's see if we can go back slash game mode S survival. I'm stuck in uh, <laughs> in creative now, uh, which you know, <laughs> probably not bad. So let's go back over and OP me again. That way I can go back to uh, uh, survival mode. All right, and then we're gonna D up me again, so you can see how that works. And if I try to go into uh, creative, it should not allow me because, oh, I, I typed in wrong. So let's make sure we type in our D op extra. Okay, so there we go. Now we shouldn't be able to do that. See, yeah, this is that error. So now we're, in, we're fully in survival mode and we have to start over. And if we, uh, if we go into our inventory, see the same thing I I can't do anything just like normal all right so basically web server I showed you how it set up how it acts to the client outside uh, when you're done playing the server you can let this run but I would restart it uh, at least once a day and to do that you can just stop it and then re relaunch it so that's the next thing I wanted to show you is the proper way to shut the server down you click on X that will shut it down but if there was something going on in the middle of that, you could get corruption or it may not save. So all you do is type in stop here to command. And the server closed on the client side and it's over here, it's done. We just click on space, it closes that folder up. Uh, the client is done. And basically that's it guys, that's the tutorial. So I hope you liked it. You did, you like this kind of content, you know, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all those YouTube things and share it with your friends. You know, if somebody needs to see how this works, or check out any of my other videos uh, please share them that helps me out helps the channel grow and I, I really 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 do appreciate it okay have a great day guys